What's up, Rubits? Little Big Robots back with another video. Oh, let me get situated here. Uh, so, today I thought it'd be fun to do a video about That's something I've been wanting to cover for a while. <clears throat> you might not be able to see all this. Let's see if I can get you a little bit of a zoom. So, I showed you my shelf the other day. I've got so many more toys in that. I'm going to start probably building little scenes in each one of these little squares. I want to build like a uh, cool. A bar for my toys to hang out with. I think that'd be really hang out in. I thought that'd be really fun. But today I thought it'd be uh, even more fun to go over 10 of my favorite toy weapons. I thought it'd be cool to kind of go over the the toy ones though that I do like and uh, and for what reasons. I do have a drawer I posted on my community tab. I do have an entire drawer of a tool chest. My mom literally bought me a tool chest for tools and I use it literally for <laughs> toy weapons because I have so many. And it also uh, stores some good kits and stuff. It's a really, uh, a tool chest is a really great inv uh, investment, uh, like a craftsman tool chest. Anyway, let's get right to it. These aren't really in an order, so I'm just gonna go over what I have. Now this is a pretty un, un you know, it's not a very uh, dynamic, interesting item. Let me grab the bot. It goes to so you saw you probably saw the review for this guy. This is if this is the uh, forging soul is the company I've been trying to get into collecting. It almost kind of like a joy toy line, a um, little little cheaper, maybe not so much cheaper, but uh, smaller scale, so it doesn't take up as nearly as much room. This one you can still get on sale because he's such a um, a bright figure. I think a lot of people didn't really like him, but I think with a little wash, this is going to be an amazing figure. It's the Chinese Search and Rescue, China Search and Rescue um, uh, figure. This was his axe. So this is essentially what you would call a firefighting axe, uh, basically. It's just a really simple design. It's, it's based on a real-world design, I'm sure. And I just absolutely love this. I love stuff that's practical. I actually prefer melee weapons over, like, a gun or anything, just because I think it's just a more... Um, it's more fun to imagine a bot that does work and maybe uses something like this for rescue and stuff, but also could use it for defense. You know, you could definitely see a, a you know, one ton version of this causing you a lot of damage. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, these are 160th scale, I believe, all of these guys. So that gives you an idea of a human is about what, like that or something. So really, really interesting uh, tool. Uh, practical uses but could also use if you imagine just a little bit of a wash on that and you can just just this, the 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 all the details would pop out like crazy so that's a fantastic I just keep going back to this guy for use and all sorts of stuff and uh, you can see it, it's kind of it could be used with uh, you know regular action figures as well like 112s and stuff it's a really handy little thing and of course it's got a little mount that you can put on the back of the mech there let's see if i can plug that in forget where it goes let's put it on the back of his arm for now just so i don't put him to the side so it's a really cool bot really neat the forging souls are a great company uh number nine and this is actually should probably be higher on the list but i'm looking at my list down here but this is the uh, 125th uh steel bone firepower mech this is the hammer i bought this particular mech literally just for this hammer for this weapon I like melee weapons, like I said. Let me take a photo. That's a really good shot. Click. I like me melee weapons. Um, and this is, you can't get more melee than this. As you can see, though, if you know Joy Toy, this is made up of parts from their guns. I'll show you here. Their guns are really great about being modular. So you can pull parts off. You can put parts on. So you can see that there's a stock there. There's a part there that you can slide stuff on. So I could actually take this, I bet slide it right in there can I maybe not anyway my only quibble with this is that it's a bit loose so you can see there these parts are like parts from the bottom and kind of squeeze on here and it's just a little bit loose so as you hold it and stuff it feels that way but it, how it looks is just really really amazing what I like about it is it can sit up flat like that like Thor's hammer sitting there you know for, great for taking shots of him standing you know holding his hand on top of it or whatever it's just a fantastic uh, melee weapon. So number eight, we're gonna go with. Uh, this is an interesting. Which which one is this? Uh, oh yeah. Oh right. I found this little guy, and I remember being really impressed by it. As I was going through my toy weapons, I pulled this back out, and I thought this is just a really 
uh, fun design. And it's got this little stock that literally folds down. Very, very simple, but it has a nice tight joint on it. It's got a little handle that pops out, I guess, in case you want to hold it. I guess, baraka, raka, 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 raka. Um, and it's just a really, really cool little design. It's not, I mean, it's pretty detailed, actually, if you look at it. Um, I don't think this comes off. I can't remember how this does, but it looks like a, a, a cartridge or maybe even like a shotgun type of handle. You could, you could saw that off to it more like an Uzi st style, you know. It's just got a really nice look to it. This came from, originally, this is based on the design from the GM ground unit, I believe. Um, somebody on the subreddit helped me with that, which is great. Um, I couldn't remember what it was, and I was like, oh, okay, well, that's the... So I looked up the ground unit, I, I saw that it was the same gun. This is a recolor, the original one's more of a darker gray, I believe. Um, and I just couldn't place it, so I just had to troll through my videos and until I saw it on one of my reviews and I was like, that's what it was. It was the, it was the, um, let me get it here real quick. It's a long name. The gun from the, uh, GM ground urban combat type from, uh, from battle log. If you don't know what battle log is, it was one of their recent, um, you know how they have like, uh, re rise and, uh, and, um, build fighters and all those fantastic series, which are actually some of my favorite series of, Gundam stuff ever and this came from the the uh, uh, Ground urban type which is one of my favorite builds from that series the rest of them were a bit questionable here and there But what a great great little gun, huh? Boop. Let's set that down there So this for this next one. I have a few I want to lay out here to kind of, oops, to kind of illustrate something and you saw me just pull this off this part here Move this to the side here. So, uh, Joy Toys 125th Mechs and 118. I don't do the 118. That's just too large of a scale for me. I don't want to mess with uh, that much shelf space. It's just too much. But they make fantastic weapons. Um, again, I'm not a gun dude. And this one is actually missing kind of like a barrel. But I like how it looks without the barrel. Um, you can just slide one in there, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, I think No, maybe it just stays like that. Um... But they have these amazing uh, guns. You can, you know, they're modular. You can turn them into other weapons. They're painted and weathered for you. They have different colorations, so you can swap stuff out. Like, you can put a part here. Heck, you could even probably put that there. You know, what, whatever you can imagine, you can probably do. You can extend barrels. I don't think this has it, but some of them you can extend the gun, make it a huge sniper rifle. I've got sniper rifles in there and so I was as I was looking through all these I was like which one do I really like and I like the bulkiness of these but I think the fact that you can see the modularity a little bit too easily you know the little dots and everything it makes it feel a little bit too I don't know and also this does not feel that that futuristic to me so I went with this one right here same one as this one but there's just some different stickers as you can see a little bit different coloration on the paint, this is a little more gunmetal. I just like how this one looks better, but you can see, and look at this, the the thing comes out, oh, I had it backwards. The um, uh, ammunition clip comes out, you slide it back in like that, and then you've got fresh ammunition. It's a really fantastic, I like how that's only like six shots though. <laughs> but what a great looking um, gun if you're into that sort of thing. Again, I don't use Joy Toy weapon. I don't use weapons like guns a lot in my displays and stuff. I just don't really, I'm not down with that. But it would be really cool is if you want, you could build a display of just like a, you know, like an armory with a bunch of guns like this and they would look, it would look really, really cool. Of course, you can outfit somebody with two of them running around, you know, like, you know, dual ones on, on the back or something. So that's a fantastic, fantastic gun. So let's put that one up here to the side. Next, I want to do uh, talk about. Oh, this one was interesting because the Purge 01 is a giant red. Oh no, it's missing the bit. This bit keeps falling off. I'll see if I can find that. Um, is a giant red bot. Um, go back and look at my review. It was one of my favorites of 22, I believe. Um, not my usual favorite style of bot. It's a little bit more futuristic looking or whatever. Um, including, you can see the difference here between when you're trying to go with like a realistic thing and more of a future sci-fi looking thing. Um, this one was meant to be mounted on the back, I believe. I have two of them. It comes with two of them, if you can believe that. It has all these amazing little bits that kind of move. There's like a sight. 
There's a site here that I just lost as I started to film this. Oh, wait, I found it. Woohoo! I literally looked down and there it was. So let me show you. It just mounts here and it's so fragile. I mean, the, the mount is really fragile, so you've got to be careful of that. Joy Toy is pretty good quality, but these little parts like that are hard to keep together. But I mean, just look at all the details on it. The handle looks like something you'd feel good holding, you know. The ammo clip's a little large, but again, these mount to, I believe, the side. So you could take that off if you wanted. You could, these mount to the side of the mechs or the top side. I can't remember what it was, so it kind of hovers above. Um, it can also go on, turns into like a spaceshipy thing. And it turns into that. Again, I don't like that you can see the modularity that much, but it's not bad on more of a sci-fi looking gun. So two joy toys in a row, that's just a fantastic, fantastic weapon. I'll have all the reviews of the, the, the kits or the toys in my uh, in my comments or my descriptions in case you want to watch the original review. So next we're looking at, let's see here. Ah, this is a good one. These are the swords. If you know the series, um, um, uh, Re-Rise, which was an, uh, I was just talking about it a minute ago. Um, it's basically a virtual world version. Um, it's kind of like, you know how you would have, um, you would have in uh, Gun and Build Fighters and Build Divers, well, Build Fighters, I should say, they built physical versions of the model kits. They would set them down on a base saying, boop, like this. And the base thing would scan the kit and then would actually coat it with a certain... It's already coated with a certain kind of plastic. And then the kid can literally animate this little model kit on a physical battlefield and would battle and damage their little bots. It's one of the most brilliant little setups for a series for Gundam ever. And the newer versions, they scan them in and there's like a VR version, which is much, much less fun. This comes from Re-Rise. This is, um, Ogre is a character in the game, or in the show. I won't spoil it. He's a really interesting, outrageously loud, angry kind of person. His model kits are really huge and bulky, especially the one this one came from, which it came from, it's a long name here. Oh, no, it's not really bad. Ogre's GP Race, R-A-S-E, not base, R-A-S-E, GP Race 210. Again, I'll link it. It's just a huge, chunky, silly kit. Um, a lot of fun to get, if you, especially if you get it on discount. It's a really fun kit. And these are the swords that kind of go on the back. You can, you know, hook them together like this, which, which I think look fantastic. I'm not normally into giant swords. As a matter of fact, I really dislike giant swords as weapons. I just think it's just, it gets into a silly realm, you know. But when you're doing this virtual VR type stuff, these are fun. Also, you could see using these on di in different ways. You could put them with, heck, you could put them with almost anything, <laughs> you know, and they would work probably. They have an effect in certain uh, of these lights, and you know you have your little LED lights in the background. They'll have, they'll take on certain effects and stuff, so they're just really fun. And also, I like that they look like um, what I always like to refer to as scale agnostic, if that's even the right correct term. Where these could be any number of scales. They could go with something large like this, or a one one forty four scale model kit, um, or whatever. But they're just a fantastic looking kit. You can even mount that on like a little thing and it looks like a you know like um some from a klingon or something it's just a just a fun design for weapons there's some good details in there too and i like that they're just a solid sword they're not they don't bend and do all this gimmicky stuff they're just a sword with a, a fun uh special effects blade which i'm always a sucker for those special effects i don't use them a lot but when they look good like this they really do work out um a-okay next we're going to go with a classic this is the beam rifle from the MG Master Grade Gun Cannon. Um, old school, I think it's around 2000 or 1, 2002 or something that this kit came from. So it's not like today's Master Grades that are just insane, insane amounts of detail. I mean, there's definitely detail in there, but the builds are rougher. You don't necessarily get inner frames and stuff, or if you do, they're pretty rough. I mean, it's just an overall rougher experience, but this is just a classic in the way that um, the gun cannon was probably my first real original, my first, I should say, real favorite design and kit. I loved how plain it was. I liked, I liked how chunky the legs are. I like everything about the gun cannon. And I, this is my first MG, I believe. I don't have them nearby, but I painted them up, you know, weathered them up and stuff. I ne never do the gun again. I don't really use the gun. But what I like about the beam rifle here is it looks like something similar to this handle here. 
that if you were to hold that, it seems like it would be comfortable. It just has a neat feel to it. I like that it doesn't have a stock on the front, like an additional stock like this. That doesn't always work. But it's just a fun uh, looking sci-fi gun and you can almost hear the sound effect. I, it's got this fun little scope thing that is actually pretty ugly in the way that just you can see the chunk that's cut out there. So it's real, just really, really primitive. But something about that, it kind of stuck with me. Um, I've been now into Gundam and Gunpla for not for very long, maybe uh, 10, 12 years or something like that. So 2000, oh, what is it? 11? 2000? I don't remember when I first started getting into them. But it's just a classic classic design i really really like that uh, i have a review of the gun cannon somewhere but it's just the mg gun cannon old school pick it up for 30 40 dollars it's got some really nice um uh details to it too so and you know you'll be able to get that gun as well so that's a cool one let's set that there uh let's see here this is a really interesting one that i didn't think i would like normally this is not normally my style but this you've probably seen it a few times in the um Hasbro makes the, uh, uh, the the Battle Royale, Victory Royale series of Fortnite figures. One 12th scale, I believe, same as a, um, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, the Marvel Marvel superhero ones. Oh, man, why am I, for, you know, zoning out on the name of those? Anyway, it's just a, it's just a sucker gun. Now, in, in Fortnite, you're going to use this. You can shoot it out, attach to a wall, and fly towards it. It's very cartoony, but... What I like about this is it's got, oops, it's got a little bit of detail on the handle and stuff like that, but where it really shines is that, that fun winding detail, springy detail there in the actual gun. I wonder if you can take that out just by sliding it. Does that look like a little, yeah, you could probably just slide that out. Look, yep, look at that. So you got this cool detail on there of the winding rope, the spring action. And then you have this kind of, you still have left this fun gun thing that you could turn into a sci-fi gun or something. So it's just a really interesting little uh, toy weapon. Yeah, it's cartoony and stuff, but it has a it has a really nice um, feel to it. Even though the paint job is real primitive, it's three colors. You got gray, red, and brown, and of course clear. You know, it's it's it feels really detailed. I really, really like this. It's just a fun, fun gun to kind of hang on someone's side or something or if you really wanted to you know make it more serious you could cut the the suction cup off the plunger thing off the front and put like a little battering looking thing or something to make it look more serious you know but it's just a, a really fun gun I love that a lot so for this next one I'm gonna show a few here let me scoot some of this to the side and make a little room here so this, if you know me, you know that I love Warhammer 40K. I grew up on it as a kid. I really, um, it's kind of fluffy stuff. It's kind of like a, you know, like pulp novels from the 30s and 40s or whatever. It's pretty cheesy stuff, but it's fun. It's, it's silly. You know, if, oh, sorry. If you're into like silly big space opera stuff, it's fine. Everybody's a jerk though. Just remember that everybody's kind of a space Nazi. So you don't like anybody, but um, I just like the giant robots and stuff. And here are some of the weapons from the McFarlane 7-inch series of uh, sp Space Marines and other associated. So this is like the Trooper one. It's just basic pistol. Here is a bolt pistol, I believe. This is a No, this is a... I don't know if this is a bolt. This might be a bolt pistol, but this might be as well. I can't remember. Anyway, these are the unpainted versions. No, this is not. This is a gunmetal. Needs a little wash. Here's one of the unpainted versions. So you can see how ridiculously huge it is. I like that the clip holds about six shots, but in the games and stuff, it makes it look like they're sound like they're a machine gun. Here's one that came with like an assault. I poured a quick wash on it. You can see it kind of got messed up. But it gives you an idea of how much detail there is. And it this again has that forward stock that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's kind of fun. Um, but of all of them, my favorite is the plasma pistol. This came with the uh, Dark Angels Primaris Intercept Interceptor. What that means is the Dark Angels is one of the groups, a smaller army of space marines under called the Dark Angels. An intercessor, I believe, is like an assault type where he flies in or something. He's at like close range. And uh, Primaris is a new type of space marine, like a giant. He's They're like a newly bred one that's larger than the old ones and kind of more um, tough or something. But this is a plasma pistol, pistol. And what's funny about it is it has a little glowing area. This is not painted up or anything other than 
what came out of the package but um, again a good wash in here and you'd see all those details pop out you could even paint a little glowing um, effect on that and it's just a neat I love this kind of rounded stubby front for some reason it reminds me of Judge Dredd I'm not sure why I'd have to look up his guns maybe they look like that but it just looks like a ridiculously um, scary weapon up close and it's just a pistol it's not even the full full version of this same gun so I really really like that one it's just a fun silly gun I might wash a couple of these up and put them back on my people I gotta I've got to build one of these squares swap them out for some space marines and one of them is definitely going to be using this so anyway that's a really great gun so lastly I wanted to show just it, it's kind of an odd choice I'm sure a lot of you will think um, um, but to me it's just it's just one of the most beautiful things in toydom I've ever had this is the spear staff whatever from Euripides I don't think yeah, I have Euripides here let me grab Euripides from Galador Galador is one of my favorite toy lines of all time now it's not my favorite Lego line I say it tell this to people all the time Galador is not a great Lego line it's a great toy line um, you know it doesn't have the customization of Lego and stuff but for chunky fun toys that are great for customization this is one of the best I mean just look how big and chunky and fun that is all the great details you know I don't like necessarily the gaps in the arms but I'm fine with that because you can pose them and stuff and this is Euripides and this is his spear what I love about it I guess we could call it a staff huh look how huge it is is there is an such an obvious um, use of plastic if that makes sense like in these guys you get to the real detailed stuff you know it's been cast cut together and there's all these little detailed parts and stuff comes off and it rotates I mean, this is literally something that they probably put they designed it and they put it into they made a mold they mold it i don't know if they mold it in different colors how this worked because this is these are early 2000s i don't know where molding technology was then but it's just, i mean look at the red the red color like probably looks cool under certain lights let's see if i can get my lighting effect there i don't know if you can see that let's see does that have any type of effect no but you know you could see against my hand there the that it, you can see the casting of the red color it's just a not only that but you, you might be able to see this as i turn it sorry but you see how it has like a twisted so i don't know if the machine is taking it and twisting it or pressing it but it has this cool organic feel to it but it's as straight as a pin you know it's just a really interesting weapon it to me this is everything that i really kind of prefer about action figures toys model kits and stuff like that is is this sort of a thing it's just a cool design it's an original ip they have lore in this case a tv show to back it up and so you can see it on screen and then have it in your hand but it's also pretty sturdy it's not a super fragile plastic he can the figure can hold it really well can you know hold it tightly so you can pose with it you can do some cool you know stuff like that but it just it, it to me that is everything you want in a toy weapon it's not always i don't always want a modern day thing that reminds me of real life and real danger <laughs> i want something that gives me a little bit of joy and this weapon in particular it just not this weapon and this line just reeks of childhood like if you grew up on these things you would just you would have such good memories with them i hear a lot of griping about galador because see how tightly that fits in there because of the it's not a lego that you know it's what was lego doing and blah blah, blah. And it's like this is such a brilliant line and so well designed and the show is so funny and has such so many great oh, i gotta get that in there so many great moments that i i, I really do believe that one day these will be seen as much more of an interesting toy line uh you know than people gave credit for and this spear staff thing is kind of just a perfect representation of why it's just an it's an original design it's sturdy it's like those old you know toys you got from the 80s that you still have that still hold together this is a model kit so it's not necessarily going to hold together but even these guys as sturdy as these are you can see that that piece comes off really easy i don't picture these lasting as long as just a cool a, a bit of molded plastic you know with a little paint on it or molded gold area i don't know 
what a great uh, weapon. It's just, it's, you, could, you could use it in a million ways. You could probably use it with different scales. You know, it's just a fantastically fun, cool spear thingy. <laughs> so that's my top 10 so far. I probably got a few more. I, I know I had some backup. Um, I also had this spear uh, from uh, the um, Pandemonies toy line alternation what a great line but we look at this the grips i mean there's just so many neat little toys toy uh, weapons i have that it's a shame i don't use them more but stuff like this i want to use this stuff all the time so i thought you guys and gals and everybody else would enjoy have a good one though i'll talk to you later